Oh no, superhuman! It seems you've given me mumps! What's mumps? Well, mumps is a disease from the pages of history that has resurfaced in recent times. So, allow me to shed some light on this viral sensation by addressing a pressing question. What causes mumps? Zoom in! Mumps is an illness caused by a virus known as paramyxovirus, which is part of the rubella virus family. It mainly affects the salivary glands, especially the ones called parotid glands, found in the cheeks and jaw area. This causes swelling on one or both sides of the face, along with pain and tenderness. But how does someone get mumps in the first place? You see, when someone who is infected with the mumps virus sneezes or coughs, tiny droplets containing the germs can spread into the air. If another person nearby breathes in these droplets, the virus can enter their respiratory system. From there, it travels through the bloodstream to reach the parotid glands, which are located in the cheek and jaw area. At the same time, the infected person may start to have symptoms such as mild fever, muscle pain, loss of appetite, feeling generally unwell and a headache. On the other hand, inside the parotid glands, the virus uses the cells to make copies of itself, causing the glands to swell and become inflamed, resulting in the cheeks and jaw area becoming visibly enlarged. The swelling usually peaks within one to three days and in some cases, other salivary glands like the submandibular and the sublingual glands may also swell. Though this happens less often, in rare cases, the virus can also enter the person's cerebrospinal fluid, which surrounds and protects the brain and spine, leading to inflammation and other neurological conditions, as well as hearing loss. For individuals who haven't been vaccinated with the mumps shot, this infection can lead to other problems such as orchitis in boys during puberty, where their testicles can become swollen and sore. Girls might experience issues like ophoritis, which is swelling in their ovaries, or mastitis. This is why it's important to get vaccinated against mumps. So if you notice any of these signs, it's essential to make an appointment with the doctor right away. But remember my friends, since mumps can spread easily for about 5 days after swelling begins, it's crucial to let the clinic know before you visit so that they can take steps to prevent others from getting sick. Also, when someone is diagnosed with mumps, they may need to stay home from schoolwork or other public places for a while to avoid spreading the virus to others. The length of time someone has mumps can vary, but getting plenty of rest, staying hydrated and following all medical advice from a healthcare provider can help speed up recovery. And to help your friends and family, please share this video with them and encourage them to subscribe to our channels. Trivia time! Did you know humans are the only host of the mumps virus? Fortunately, mumps is a mild, self-limiting disease that resolves without any lasting effects. To learn more about other virus-borne diseases, Please check out our playlist on the same. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Joshua. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Free superhuman, you must get quarantined. 
Never mind.